okay i'm still in my look as flamenco dancer spanish beauty but i just got a package in the mail that i really want to try out and that is the i need a scissor for this the new thing a brow stamp now as you might have seen in my video of the spanish beauty i used um a mall a shape uh whatever don't know how you name how you call that again i can't remember the name but these are brow stamps look at that now i'm gonna put some light on my there these are brow stamps. Simply stamp your favorite eyebrows evenly right and left. That seems logical. No mess, no fail. Quick and easy brow application. Whether you have light eyebrows or have lost your eyebrows. I shaved mine off didn't lose them i shaved them off one be sure the skin above the eye is clean now that's freaking scary and ugly <laughs> all for the sake of you people to show you new things and tricks look at me Terrible! Pre-shaped and has a left and a right side stamp. It creates the perfect natural looking brow. That's not what I have here. That's not a natural looking brow. So this should be a natural looking brow. Now we're going to open this thing. This should do the trick. Okay, what do we have here? We have a, a jar. And we have a stamp and it's the right side it's the correct side but how do you see where you're gonna stamp if you get your hand in front of it that's not very logical i think but if you keep that very straight and you look at the start where your brow should start and you then press it should work but is there powder with it or do you need to buy powder separately or it seems to oh, oh it's great and there is another stamp which has a larger and a different shape or is it just a left and a right it's a left and a right it's just a left and a right so there's no choice in different shapes or anything i thought you had to switch that as i have seen graveyard girl try this out so it's just a left and a right so i will have to use this one and i'll have to stamp it on right there so i'm gonna try this out i'm gonna fill it up with the product that came with it so I think I will have to make sure that it's completely covered it's a nice sponge I think it's filled up enough now oh this is so <laughs> scary and, and and is it gonna give fallout is it gonna work um the first one is always the easy one but this i would have to think away so i am going to try to keep that as horizontal towards my face as i can i'm not gonna i don't see where the tail is gonna go anywhere because i cannot see where i'm gonna put this thing okay here we go Taking that thing as straight as I can. Put 
pushing it against my skin. I don't know if I got a wobble or just push. <gasps> it's huge! But it's a perfect brow. It's a big one. I think it needs a little bit more tail. Now how am I going to do that? Am I going to try? <laughs> it worked! <laughs> okay, so you can move it and don't use the thick side to press again because you're going to go too high as you see. But you can extend the tail part and then taking a concealer brush or something similar and clean up the edge. Now it's not supposed to be a brow that you gotta conceal completely around or anything, but there is a brow people a serious guy, a serious feller. I gotta try the other side too. I gotta try the other side too. I gotta know what this looks like. I wanna know what this looks like and how I can get them to be in the same spot. So I'm filling up this second sponge. But it's a very dark color, very dark color. And now, how am I going to get that the same? How am I going to get that same height, that same angle? Uh, okay, I've touched the skin, now I gotta press, like it or not. They're a bit close together, but I don't think it's too bad. Now I gotta extend that tail part too a little bit. So I'm taking that and just touch it. Ah, no, 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 that was not the right way. That was not the good way to do it. Okay, that was not the way to do it. You don't see very well what you're doing with it, but, and it's also a ton of powder on your, now I'm gonna look very close, dab. Okay, it's not that bad if you take that away every time or put something underneath there before you go over, but, I kind of like it. <laughs> now, okay, I'm messing up. That's because it's my own fault. I'm messing up. Now, with this nail, I can clean that up. And you can make that tail sharper just with a tissue. That's not so... It does work very fast. And now look at that tail, I like it. So, to make that tail smaller, you just take your nail, swoop it away. Still a bit scared to touch it though. I think when you've put it on, that it has enough powder to just take a brush and make a tail of, of it. I've never practiced this and practice makes perfect. So I think with a different color, now maybe if I tap, whoop, it takes off very easily. Now, I don't know what you think. I know what I think. I think with my own brow powder, ooh, yeah, 
a bit more apart, more away from each other, but maybe with a concealer brush or something you can easily correct the front part or what you want to do with it. No, it's I'm making a real mess here. I'm making a big mess. I think it works, but this powder is a very great color for making a winged eyeliner, but not for brows. It's way too dark. Way too dark. But as I said, with some practice and maybe finding your right spot as a guideline, you can make nice brows with this. But not for the first attempt. That's obvious. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I am messing it up. But it works, people. It does work. I have messed mine up. The color is too dark for me. But the sponges and the applicator works. <laughs> I'm going to try this again but with my own powders. So I will maybe turn around these sponges and wash them after use to get this dark stuff out because it's really way too dark. It's a very, very beautiful eyeshadow and the thing really fits in it wonderfully. I can just Clean it off like this a bit too. Maybe if I try it with my bronzer, because that's such a big surface, you know, to, to tap that thing in. Maybe if I use this, it's too light. I know it's too light, but it, hey guys, we're trying here, okay? And there's still some of that dark stuff on there, so maybe if I can fill this up with this color now. Here we go. I'm now going to go a lot further away from my nose and I am going to make it curve. I'm going to watch that instead of the straight edge. So I'm going to look at that and I'm going to stamp closer to my eyes and I'm going to stamp further away from my nose and I'm doing it now. And that is a beautiful brow. The color is totally wrong, but the shape, I like it. This is gonna be something that I am gonna use a lot. Because now that my brows are shaved off and I can find the right color to do this with, now what if I mix these two colors together? Just dab it in here. And I'm gonna try to see if I can get it at the same height, the same spot somewhere. Yeah, once you press, you can't go back. There you go. Got like a little tail flick. And you got yourself a brow and it's not that bad. I kind of like it. I know how I am going to do my daily brows. I'm just going to use this. Okay, this was an unexpected swatch moment. But, what if I just tab that a little on the dark and go over this one again? But how do you trace the same spot? How do you trace the same place with the light coming from another? Yeah, just try something, okay? 
Now it's not dark enough, so adding a little bit more, going over it for the third time. The same brow. <laughs> I just don't know where to start. Okay, this is going to be totally nah, not in the same place. You see, too far this way and oops, <laughs> no tail. It's going to take me quite some practice, but I think I am going to have my brows on very easily these coming future. I don't know what you think. <laughs> leave, leave it in some comments here below. Just let me know what you think. I kind of like it. It's very strange to try and start and they're not even yet, but it's going to come, you know, I'm, I'm learning here. But this one I, I like. That's a pretty good brow just for daily stamp. Oh, and there you go. I just got to find the right color. An eyeshadow or something different from my brow palette itself. Because of such little things. I will have to find some solution for that. But I like this brow. And now I'm going to take off all the rest of my makeup. But I must say, it's a very welcome surprise in the mail today. I like it. You can close it up by pressing them in so you can nicely put it away like this too. Cute! Oh, what a cute box. Too bad that the color is not so good. But I have somehow tried the I Envy by Kiss Brow Stamp in the color Ebony, which is not a color for me, but I like it. So, congratulations for this new invention. Ha! It works! Uh, and if you want to see this look, you gotta watch my previous video as a Spanish flamenco dancer or something it's gonna be called, I'm not sure yet. And if you like this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Leave some comments down below about what you think about these girls here. <laughs> Give me some thumbs up for my effort. <laughs> and as always, my love for makeup is spread all over to you. I hope to see you again in one of my coming videos. But for now, bye-bye.